hello, my name's Fran. Uh, last night I was on YouTube looking at videos because I'm going to be meeting my daughter in Costa Rica next week. Uh, June 16th we're leaving and my son Danny's going with me. He was 16. My daughter's studying abroad uh, with the uh, University of South Florida in Tampa where she goes to college. So she's studying abroad, learning Spanish and staying there for a month. We're going to go meet her. Anyway, so uh, I was seeing all these people that blog over there in Costa Rica. Um, the one guy is a vegan, the German guy uh, with the family. They're all blondes and stuff and it was pretty cool. And then, then I came across another guy that was uh, doing a water fast and uh, I was like, well, maybe I should do a little blogging here. But in my case, I have cancer that I've been fighting for almost two years now. Uh, colon cancer stage four and um, this is my introductory video um, I guess I should tell you the story real quick if that's possible um, I'm 50 now but when I was 49 I just turned 49 August 16th this was 2010 and um, about a month after my birthday in September I'd say I was feeling symptoms sharp pains and then the bowels were like nor not normal so I'm having a lot of like little kind of loose ones or whatever but and cramping a lot and felt there was something wrong so I went to um, my regular doctor and then they said oh yeah the colitis is going around and put me on antibiotics and was on that for 10 days and the symptoms got a little bit better but I was still having some pain so um, I went back to the doctor and the nurse said, well, if you want, we could give you antibiotics again. So uh, another 10 days I was on antibiotics and I was still getting sharp pains and just um, wasn't feeling like there was something else wrong with me. So she said, well, we could send you for a CAT scan. The CAT scan, uh, they said I just tested positive for diverticulitis, so the cancer didn't even show up on the test. And um, like uh, enlarged intestines, uh, inflamed or something they were saying. And um, so I was like, okay, diverticulitis, what does that mean? What do, I, do I have to be on a diet or what do I do? And the nurse really didn't tell me much. So um, I called my mom, and who lives in Miami, Florida. I live in Marco Island, Florida. That's where I'm doing this video from my house. But anyway, so um, uh, she said, you know, don't mess around with that. Go to a specialist. And so this is like a month or two going into this now. And then finally... I go to see a, another doctor and he said well let's do a colonoscopy because you can see more what's going on with the camera and all that and I'm like okay so we're going into now uh, October and then I waited a couple weeks because I was like thinking you know do I really need to do this I just had CAT scans and they said the CAT scan shows the best that's what I was told but evidently not they don't show the most and um, so with the colonoscopy the camera wouldn't go past like the beginning of my intestines. It was a scar tissue there so he couldn't go past that area but he said I had a block and um, he said it looks suspicious for cancer and he did a biopsy for it but um, I tested negative for cancer so he said well it's not a you know it's not emergency surgery that you could wait but eventually you'll need to get surgery and I said no I want to get surgery now because I'm having pains and um, you know, I wanted to get it taken care of right away. So I went into the hospital for surgery, and then um, I actually put it off a couple weeks because my sister, who's 20 years younger than me, was getting married in Miami, and she had planned this big wedding out for six months prior, and I had made plans with my kids to go and watch her get married and stuff. So thinking I didn't have cancer and that it was an emergency surgery, of course, I put it off, and then the doctor said just to uh, drink Marilax. I should be okay when I saw the surgeon. He told me that actually, the surgeon. And so I scheduled my surgery for December 2nd, 2010. That's when I was told that they found cancer on the other side of the block. And um, he said he was surprised because I'm so healthy and I'm young. Well, I guess I'm young, according to him. And um, he was shocked to, to find so much cancer. And um, it had spread into my abdominal walls. And he said that I had stage four colon cancer and that he took 18 inches of my colon out, he took as much as he could out surgically, he said. But 
and that I was going to need aggressive chemotherapy to keep it at bay. And um, so I'll continue this video later because this one's getting long. Part one of my journey and to let other people know in case they're going through this kind of what to expect or what I've been through and um, it's a lot of information but I'm going to keep it short for the first one. Okay, signing out.